I'm by name Aladi Marcus. I'm the brother to the disease Tauda Aladi. I'm the last child of the family. We are four. He is our first. I have a sister, a brother, then I are the last person. Um, my brother is a businessman in Sakani, here in Kagadama Bauchi. Uh, my brother is actually in his place of business when the police invaded the environment. Um, based on the police, they are trying to fetch out criminals in the environment, which my brother was actually in the place of his own work, that is in his own shop. So unfortunately for the police, when they came, they chased the people around. And of course, my brother is a businessman. He sells things, so he didn't run. So when they saw him around that place, they came and then they hijacked him. They're trying to put him in his car. He asked them, ah, what have I done? What have I done? What was my own fault? They insisted that he must enter. He told them, I have a shop here. In fact, he even requested, based on his neighbors, he requested that I let him lock his shop before he go with them. But this is how they forced him. One of his neighbors who sells suya, also came around was asking them, ah, leave this man, he's our neighbor, we know him. He has not done anything. See, they could not hear that suya man. And likewise, a certain neighbor of his, which uh, a baba who is selling some things, still here he came and talked to them, but still yet, they didn't respond. But this is how they brutalized my brother and pushed him inside the car. So that's actually what happened that led to my brother's demise. My brother doesn't have any case of asthma. In fact, none of my family members have any history of asthma. So my brother is not asthmatic. This was a fabricated story from the police. If actually the police said they saw him on the ground gasping for breath, they actually helped, which is very good. But the next thing they are supposed to do is for, for them to call us as his own relatives. But we didn't get that information. In fact, we struggled to get more information from them concerning our brother. Well, the arrest happened in the night. And I, in person, before the information came to me, it came around 10 o'clock. In fact, 10.03, that was when my sister in law called me. So I said, okay, it's late in the night. Since this police arrest, we're going to go and bail him out tomorrow in the morning. So that's what happened. In fact, I even called two of my friends who are police officers, asking them about my brother's well. They say, okay, since it's night, tomorrow in the morning, they are going to see what they can do to bail out my brother. I, in person, I went to the station around, seven, around six, but there was no any vital information as to where I can get my brother. They only tell me that, in fact, the person I met him on counter told me that he doesn't have the record of Dawda Aladi in their own record book. So it was later on, I left that place. Later on, my, my, my brother and my sister, Hilo, and my sister, and my mom, they went to that place. It was that time that the news was broke to them after they had been pressurized to bring a medicine for my brother, which is not on drugs. So they pressurized my sister, Hilo, and she went and brought drugs, purposely for just her husband. Uh, so it was that time around 11 that the news was broke to them. So that, this death has actually affected us a great deal. My brother is just starting life. He married just last year. In fact, I've been one of the person who has been very busy up and down trying to prepare for his wedding. So the news of his demise came as a very rude shock to me. It has affected us a great deal as a family. He has been of help, support, and encouragement to us as a family because he's the eldest. So he being absent in our family is a great loss to us as a family. As a family, when, when the situation happened, um, we all believe every man is going to die. And then based on our decision is that we're going to forgive what has happened and then we proceed to the brother's burial. But the story we heard from the police actually provoked us because they are not willing to take responsibility of the demise of my brother, which obviously they are responsible for that. So for that reason, as a family, we are not going to let go of our brother's blood go in vain. We ensure that all those who are involved in this thing are brought to the group. We're going to follow due processes. We want to follow due process. We're not going to take laws in our hands, but we ensure that we follow the right processes to ensure that our brother's rights is being um, secured. <laughs> Is it, is it, is it, is it, is it,